Hi, we've been at this video making game for quite a while now. Not as long as some, but long enough to have ridden the wave of unexpectedness that is YouTube.com and come out on the other side only a little bit wet. Not remotely what I meant. We're officially in year seven of the Watchtower database. And during those years, we've learned a lot about what does and does not work on this horribly non-transparent slash godsend job creator of a website. And and yet, what does and doesn't work is always changing, and so must we. Recently, we put out our final comic book breakdown video, which we'd mentioned several times in the preceding months to be the end of the format in which we cover new DC Animated Universe comic releases. And in the short time since, there's already been a few comments questioning what will happen to the channel now. And like, we're not going away. We got questions like, is this a dead Chanel? To which we say, Nay. We're just not doing those specific videos anymore because they weren't performing how we wanted them to, and we personally found them too stressful and tedious to keep up with in the end. It's happened several times already. We start up a series that we think will do well with our audience and or play to the almighty YouTube algorithm. Short form trivia spurts, comic book reviews, or extremely deep dives into DC animated continuity. And in the end, there are many factors that go into why we start stop doing these shows. But to be as transparent as we can be, I'd like to explain a little bit about why and about the future of this channel, because hot damn, we have some cool things coming up and I wanna tease them and I want you to watch them. I started a different YouTube channel with some high school friends all the way back in 2006, where we posted comedy sketches and movie reviews and music videos and whatever other random nonsense we'd come up with on an extremely erratic and unorganized basis for a little over a decade. There was only one time where I set myself a strict schedule, a several month period in 2014 where I decided, yep, I'm gonna commit to this, I'm gonna put something out every single week no matter what. And even with that, a dozen or so pretty solid videos that I'm still proud of today, two of which have miraculously passed a million views, that channel, JTS Entertainment, never picked up the speed I always wanted it to. It was an outlet for creativity and a, a pretty fun time, but too all over the place for the YouTube robots' liking. And that's because, for the most part, that era of YouTube's programming, so to speak, very much favored quantity over quality. I mean, Jesus, JTS Entertainment spread its wings only a year after YouTube was invented, trying and failing to tread water in an overpopulated sea of folks that were filling up the website with more video content than the internet had ever seen before. I was 15. I had my parents' camcorder and some Halloween masks. There was no way I was going to be able to keep up with those with professional equipment and experience who were dominating the platform. and. Honestly, at the time, I, I didn't even really have that on my mind. In 2006, I didn't know what I was doing, but I also didn't care. That channel never succeeded even a fraction of as much as good old WDB here has, because it was never keeping up with the big kids, and when it tried to a few years in, it was already too late. Off the back of that Batman v Superman animated trailer doing big kid numbers, Ted and I started this channel in late 2015. But it actually wasn't intended to be the thing we would occupy our lives with. It was supposed to be a hotspot for updates on both our Legacies of the DCAU webcomic and for a giant encyclopedia of a website intended to be a one-stop shop for everything DCAU. We knew we'd occasionally put out other videos, like our first one, a high hyper-focused look into the life and career of Batman actor Kevin Conroy, or loose discussions of various DCAU fan theories, or a cataloging of every DCAU bat suit. And using that video as a segue, once we realized the videos themselves were doing pretty decently compared to my prior YouTube history, the videos became the focus. And that focus narrowed to filling a void for original, narrative, expert-level DCAU content on the platform. DC animation topics 
that no one else was talking about, like the visual discrepancies between said bat suits, or Wonder Woman's inexplicable name drop in a Superman episode before she should ever even be publicly known, or how you should absolutely never spoil a show or movie for someone unless you are damn sure they have seen it already. Over time, we expanded our team to include Maddie, our composer Adam, our assistant editor Connor. We expanded our output to weekly videos, sometimes even multiple videos in a week. We found our niche and everything kind of snowballed to where we are now. So <laughs> where are we now? Where? I think the question is when. Well, we're in year three of a global pandemic, that's when we are. Now don't worry, I'm not gonna get all preachy about it, wear your mask at the poke, but our stage has been set and hasn't been taken down to be reset since early 2020? Late 2019? Before the lockdowns began, we were building up to a huge conclusion to our ongoing in-channel lore storyline that dates all the way back to our Batman and Harley Quinn timeline video in 2017. Those story finale plans were formulating over two years ago, and then suddenly, we couldn't breathe within arm's reach of each other, and filming that conclusion became a bit of a problem. But we looked ahead at what we could accomplish in the meantime and persevered. Since quarantining began, we've put out 150 videos, quite a few of which I honestly consider to be some of the best videos we've ever made. Not only have some breached our top 25 videos of all time already, but they're ones I will continue to show off for years and years to come as portfolio pieces and the height of what is possible to do with, well, videos about Batman cartoons. Videos like that Superman the Animated Series one I made just a few weeks ago. Or Starro, or Hawk Girl's origin, or Miss Martian's origin, or the Dwayne McDuffie documentary, or the friggin' Adventures Continue Will It Canon? Are you kidding me? Even that Freddy vs. Jason timeline out of nowhere. They, we, we put a lot of work into that one and you should go watch it, please. Hell, we put on a 24-hour live stream featuring dozens of other YouTubers and DCAU cast and crew members celebrating the channel and the animated universe that caused its existence. We started a new podcast that's one of the most fun things I've taken part in for WDB. We've been live streaming several times a week, just hanging out with all of you and playing video games and reading comic books. We did a lot of cool stuff these last couple years. But while that's true, it's also true that a lot of the stuff we put out between those big hit videos didn't do nearly as well. We'll have one video that'll do super good numbers and then a few that are just fine, and then back to super good, and then just, just repeat forever. What did you always call it, Clark? The never-ending battle? So there comes a point when we finally have to tear down the stage and set up for the next production. While our weekly schedule has been great for workflow and consistency behind the scenes, it's also been cause for a lot of personal stress and anxiety in the thick of things, and various levels of depression and defeat when something doesn't perform the way we anticipated. Seriously, y'all weren't interested in us laying out Harley Quinn's entire origin story? Or when we're just putting something out for the sake of putting something out. If you're a dedicated subscriber, I'm sure there are times even you go, silly putty unboxing? Uh, yeah, I, th I think I'm gonna skip that one. P.S. You should watch that video because it's pretty funny. Being able to look back at the past two, three, four years of videos and seeing the kind of progress that we've made since starting the channel is... It's something that I'm truly proud of beyond words. I never would have been able to do it without Ted, Maddie, the whole team. And we would have never been able to do it without all of you liking and commenting and subscribing and sharing and Patreoning and whatever else there is. The Watchtower database isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Except forward. Which finally brings me to talking about 2022 and the future. Continuing with the theme of transparency, because you all deserve that, WDB's future is both hinged on happiness and, I, well, and, and uh, money. Note that these two things are not the same. The Watchtower database has been my full-time job for the last going on two years. And even with all of those doo-doo emotions that I described a minute ago coming with that, there have also been the best emotions. S-tier emotions. It is amazing that I get to plan, prep, film, edit, and publish videos, something I went to school for and have been passionate about my whole life, and on the topic of my favorite childhood superhero cartoons for a living. I am... <laughs> 
I am I am never going to not be anything but humble about that. That is ridiculous. And that I get to bring a bunch of my best friends along for the ride ain't bad neither. This is a place that we've found ourselves through determination, hard work, meeting the right people, being the right people, and just a little bit of luck. Not to mention the fact that all of you have allowed this to happen by continuing to watch us and help us grow. And when we put out a video that's devotion and love are rewarded with a large and enthusiastic audience, that that's when we feel the most proud. And the most like all of the hardships, workshopping, research, and time are worth it. And those are the feelings we aim to continue chasing as the channel goes on from here. These days, the algorithm beast seems to hunger less and less for Give me a video now all the time, what are you waiting for? And more for That was a good video, do more of that one whenever you get the chance is fine. Which is good for us too. Good for you! That thing is a heart attack on a bun! No Squidward, I meant good for your soul. What that means is we will no longer be putting out a video every single week. We're going to be focusing on having each and every video that we put out be something that we've taken the time to mold and craft into exactly what we want it to be, and something we can add to that super proud portfolio, regardless of how much massaging the script or edit needs. Now, this isn't to say that every video in the past had a one-week turnaround. Absolutely not. There are tons and tons of videos on the channel already that took weeks, months, years of preparation before you ever saw them. Videos like that STAS breakdown, various timeline videos, episodes of Will It Canon, what if style fanfiction shows and movies like Ranthanagar War, Lady Shiva, Wonder Woman the Animated Series. You know, the big ones. Extremely dangerous. Keep out of reach of children. The ones that keep you coming back for more. The ones you don't skip. Now imagine a world where that describes all of the videos that we put out. Everything that pops up as a new upload from the Watchtower database is a passion project filled to the brim with care and commitment. Everything is a Dwayne McDuffie doc or Hawk Girl origin or overly extensive and fastidious cataloging of every member of a big superhero team that ends with a pokey rap. That's the WDB we want to bring you. It's gonna take a little bit of a running start here in the beginning, but it's gonna be so so worth it. For you, for us, for everybody. We're going to be bringing you videos that you've been asking about for years. We're gonna talk about Green Lantern the Animated Series. We're gonna talk about The Batman. We're gonna talk about Ben 10. More Teen Titans. More Will It Cannon. Everything that you've been asking for. And included in that upcoming repertoire is, at long last, the epic three-part finale to our storyline that we've been working on and teasing for far too long, the DCAU Multiverse Revisited, Poison Ivy, Plant or Person, and the grand finale, which I will still wait to tell you about, but oh my god, you will pee your collective pants. Everything that makes TV great. Now, I know there are indeed some of you out there who subscribed because of, say, our Adventures Continue or Justice League Infinity Easter egg breakdowns. There are those of you who subscribed because of a movie review we did, or a breaking news segment, or yeah, even that silly putty unboxing. We're approaching 500 videos on the channel. They've each found someone who's watching this right now. Now. Maybe you stayed because of Yellow Bat Suit. Maybe you stayed because of top 10 baths in the DCAU. I don't know. But I want to assure you that you're still going to get a massive amount of entertainment and joy from what we have in store for both the next few months and the channel's future in general. And if you do prefer that smaller stuff, it's not going away completely. We've been saying for way too long that we'll be bringing back our podcast, 12th Level Intellects, soon. But we're in legitimately final discussions about it right now. Times, days, locations, set dressings, new equipment, new formats, all that kind of thing. 13th level intellects is going to bring you those movie reviews, news reactions, unboxings, comic book breakdowns, celebrity interviews, and more that you love. It's going to be broadcast live in video. It's going to be a whole friggin' show. All three of us data buds in your ears and eyes all the time. Also put out an 
an audio form on your favorite podcast app, and archived to watch later whenever you want on our second channel, The Pod Tower. So, if you feel like, oh man, Watchtower Database is going to be putting out less content, that sucks. Rest assured, those feelings will pass easily and quickly, or you'll never even notice them at all. Our Jump on the Bat Wagon, or Yappy Dudes or whatever, podcast where I'm showing my friend Brian the entire DCAU from start to finish for the first time ever will continue each week. Our live streams will also continue, and more often. That DCAU encyclopedia website? I'm still working on it. I never stopped. You're going to get more Legacies webcomic issues. You're going to get bigger and better videos that are here before you even know it. Never give up. Never surrender. Because, look, I have a feature film, Virality, that has been postponed again and again and again and again and again because of my laser focus on this channel. To push to get it to where it is today. I have a kid to take care of all day, every day. He's one now, he can do stuff now. He's not just this weird little motionless worm that sits in the corner of the room while I type, type, type. Uh-huh. Ted, Maddie, we all have other projects, other jobs that we rely on until Patreon becomes something that can pay all our bills. Life commitments swarming around us and consuming us like a hive of dark heart nano spiders 24-7. We have to break the mold and do what's best for us as people. And luckily, that just happens to also be what's best for the channel's continued success. I want to look at our uploads tab and see banger after banger after banger after after banger. And no, I'm not talking about those purple bad guys from Static Shock. I mean videos that are going to make me a proud papa and you a satisfied subscriber every single time. It will also help show potential sponsors that we are worth sponsoring. That was, uh, that was the money part I was talking about earlier. Yay! Speaking of which, I'll tag on real quick that we're also going to be revamping our Patreon tiers here pretty soon. Virtual hangouts are going to be more affordable. There will be a lot more behind the scenes stuff posted and more regularly. The perks are being reshuffled in general. Please go check that out regardless at any time at patreon.com slash DCAU Watchtower. So, all this to say, things are gonna be different around here, but it's a good kind of different. As Dick Grayson is fond of saying, things change. And in this case, change is good. I promise. And the adventure continues. Now I have a lot of work to do to make sure that your 2022 Watchtower database experience is the best it can be. And I seriously can't wait to get back to that work. Like I'm, I'm literally looking at one of the storyline finale videos right now on my screen. I'm like, ah, I just want you to see this. Oh my God. So get out of my house, go grab some coffee, tell someone you love that you love them. Kiss your dads for Maddie. We will see you on the other side. I'll be back, and sooner than you think. <laughs> <laughs>